Welcome back. Today we are playing the Medieval Color Legacy Challenge. We are in the light blue generation and we are not going to talk about how many times my game has crashed today. We're not going to do it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Safe to say more than five and that's that's all that needs to be said I think about my current mood. Now uh, last time we had some things happen. Uh, I do want to say Judith is still with us. I do roll to see if she's going to find anybody, and obviously if she organically meets somebody, I will let her marry them and go off and start her little life, but that did not happen. The rolling was unkind to other people, though. So, Angelique and Eleanor have both passed. They were lifelong companions. They traveled the world. They came back. They raised their brothers. Yeah, bastard children, basically. <laughs> And, you know, they had a good life, so they did die. Armand and Beth are still with us for now. Alban is not an adult yet, but he is a priest, so we don't really have to worry about him. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because unmarried people will have to come and live with us. Alcid is now a child, but he's with his parents. We don't have to worry about him. Judith lives with us, per the rules. Basile did get married and he now has a child called Ali, who is his son. He named him after Eleanor. So that's all the updates in the family tree. Nobody new is moving in at this point, but we've got some things to do today. Now I want to make sure we continue to maintain our BFF status with our husband Drake and our friend Ivy. Uh, I would really like to get a promotion would love for that to happen because she's had babies and it's kind of thrown off the promoting thing. I do want one more child, but like, I also want this promotion. <laughs> uh, another thing that I want to do today is I do want to have a party because we still need to th throw two more roof raisers. And I think a birthday party would be the best time to do it. Uh, you can't really throw a birthday party for children, but it's fine. So we'll age up Clotilde and Lethair at the very end of this episode. But for now, I think we need to send her to bed. I don't think that she's expecting, but I genuinely don't remember. You, good sir, I know you need a charisma skill point, but I would like you to manage all of the nonsense. Judith needs a shower. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna have her, put, well, I'll have her put Lethair in the crib and then take a bath and then you can go to sleep. What are you doing, Clotilde? Clotilde is sleeping. All right, what are you doing? I don't know what kind of outfit that is. That looks like two meshes mashed together. Is that, I don't think that I have that. I don't know what that is. It's cute. Um, ma'am, ma'am, you were, you were given tasks. She's like, mm, I don't like those tasks. Don't care. Put Lothair in his crib. Um, Jokar, I did not invite you onto my property. Just so you know. Ma'am. What are you, are you stuck? She might be stuck. Why is everybody here? Oh, did we throw a party and I forgot? It's distinctly possible. Okay, let's teleport over here. Otherwise, I don't know why everybody's here. Did we throw a party and I forgot? Because everybody's here. Are you just ignoring me? Okay, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So go take a bath. I need you, after that, to go serve some food, clean up. Sorry, my dear, you need to wake up to go talk to your mother. You gonna, you gonna wake up? Wake up, everybody up, everybody up. Go and talk to your mother. Drake, up. I don't care about that part. How about you go talk to your friends? All right, you can talk to Godric. Okay, Judith. 
Now is actually your moment to potentially meet somebody. Oh gosh, she's just not having it. All right, we might need to um, move everybody. Just a quick, because they're all in the worst spot for this. They all should be in this room where they can party hardy. I'm just gonna throw her in there. I know it's gonna mess it up. I don't care. Drake can walk there himself. He's got legs. Ivy. It just makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> no, we don't want to hang out with you. Actually, don't care about the food. Handle your business and then I'm gonna have you come back and maybe you'll come talk to Shiloh. Oh, it's a snoozer. I don't like this. Don't be a st Whoa! She went nude for a minute. Ivy! Okay, you're talking to Godric, who doesn't seem very impressed. Godric, you should be happy with us. It's like, um, you could go hunting with us every once in a while. Ever since you moved out, it's really rude that you're being like this. You're just not gonna be chatting, so it's just gonna look awkward. Cool. There we go. Just want a screenshot. I don't know what that man's doing in the background. We're gonna ignore him. Come on, Judith. This could be your moment. This could be your way out of childcare. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Judith, get your butt over here. Fine, you don't want to talk to Shiloh? Talk to Newton instead. She's like, I've never been kissed, did you know? <laughs> Coming on strong, Judith. Are you stuck there or something? Okay, good time. Love that, love that, love that. Where are you going? No, 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 no. You can't go to sleep. You can't do it. I won't allow it. I'm sorry. Go talk to Harrison. Go admire his shooting. She's like, I'm exhausted. Why are you doing this? She prego, actually. Let me just... For a... Okay, she is. She is. You know what? She's excused. She's excused. She's excused. We're even going to teleport her and put her to bed. Come on, guys. It's up to you. Let's make this a roof raiser, please. It's not gonna happen. All right, well, we're gonna have to throw another party anyways. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. That was, that was my bad. I was unprepared. I will be better next time. Everyone needs to go to bed immediately though. Everyone's exhausted. Okay, go handle your situation. in front of him. Perfect. Talk to yourself. Good. I mean, it doesn't really matter if he gets promoted, but like, eh, not as well. How are you doing, sweetie? Because I did kind of push you. I didn't mean to, but I did. Judith, you could have met a man tonight and you just went, no. What is she even like? Blondes. Oh, there were no... Godric was a blonde. Maybe we need to have her beat Godric. Specifically. Okay, 
break got body skill point. I think he needs another one. Yeah, just keep at it. Keep at it. Alright, so I'm gonna just wait until everybody is awake who's kind of important. We love you, Drake, but you're not really important. Okay, I tried to start recording my dogs immediately are being loud. I just want to point out, because the water mod, sometimes Luke is really annoying. I usually just bump up Clotilde's hygiene to 100 because she's potty trained, so it doesn't matter. But like, oh my gosh, I just needed to show you the frustration. Okay, moment of truth. Did they get promoted? Yeah, Drake I didn't think was gonna get promoted. Go to bed. Oh wait, she comes home an hour later. Whatever. Fingers crossed. Also, Judith, how long have you been in that bath? Because I feel like it's been forever. Make some panic. Now is the moment of truth. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I care about this particular woman who looks like she's in a bad mood. Yeah, assistant coach. I believe that's level eight. I'm not 100%, but I'll have to double check. I'm just writing it down so that I remember to check. But yes, we got the promotion we wanted. We're still maintaining. Now is time for the birthday party. Although maybe he's exhausted. Yeah, no, she's awake. So we'll use that real quick and then we will throw an actual party that hopefully it'll work out. All right, so Ivy, uh, I don't know if our brother will wanna come, our mom, our dad. All of the knights, especially Godric, because we would like him to... Yeah, we'll, we'll invite our brother. He's family. Okay. So is this still edible? No. Clean it up. Actually, you also are going to help clean this up. Ma'am, you're not writing in your diary. You're helping your sister clean. Serve the food. Okay, everybody is here. I don't know why they don't like... I know they go to the mailbox, but like then they don't come into the property at all and they're not being locked out. So I don't understand, but that's okay. I will manually move all of you. Although, wait a minute, where's Armand? Armand, are you missing your grandchild's birthday? <sighs> For goodness sake. I do want, okay, I'm just gonna push that back. Cause I want a pedestal for the cake. Cause we're actually gonna do a cake. Where's the cake? No, here. My microphone is right in the way. Look at a chocolate cake. All right, so we're gonna bring Le Fair to the cake right away, just immediate. Uh, sorry, Drake, but you do need to be awake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have you come talk to Harrison. Judith, I want you to come talk to Godric because I think you could be a pair. Where's my macro? No? I'll joke with him then. I don't know. Stop it. Okay. And then Clotilde, I'm gonna have her teleport in here too. Why didn't you bring the baby? Go get your child. He's right there. He's not asleep, is he? Oh, he's asleep. Okay, well, will the music wake up? 
I'm not opposed to waking up this child. There it goes. All right, smelly baby, wake up. Woohoo! Yeah, we woke up a baby. Apparently it's still a snoozer. Oh, I hate that. Also, she's being mean. All right, you can go to bed because you're exhausted. Parties are hard. Okay, um, maybe you shouldn't talk to her. I saw those bolts. How about you talk to your buddy here? Oh, 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 no, 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 not a, <gasps> shoot. Okay, now let's, not in the, not in the party, ma'am. Not, not in the party. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, that's my fault. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's not bad. It's not bad a party. Clotilde, can you talk to this man? Ask for attention. Go ask this man for attention. No. Can you macro with this guy? Yeah. Come on, guys. You have two minutes to turn this around. Yes. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Hold this. Hold this. Hold it. Hold it. <gasps> no! What happened? It was a roof razor and now it went to real dud? What happened? Who got unhappy? Is it the babies? Is it the babies with their yucky diapers? It might be the babies. I think the babies ruined the party. Oh no. Oh, at least she didn't have- oh, she did not enjoy that. Okay, I thought she had a fear though, and as long as she doesn't have a fear, I'm okay. Okay, go change Clotilde's diaper. Today was a difficult day for the family. We are gonna go ahead and age up Clotilde though. I know by game time she's not supposed to age up, but she's like close, and we don't need her to be a toddler. It's unnecessary, so we're gonna grow her up. Mostly because we don't have a lot of space for toddlers. And her brother needs the bed. He needs to come up here. So I'm going to give them makeovers real quick and then I will show you what they look like. Okay, I mean this in the nicest way possible. But Clotilde gives me very, like, Tudor Henry VIII face in some way. Like, not so much here with the shadows, but like, it's just very rectangular. I do think she's cute, but I just, it was, it was hitting me. Um, this is what Lethair looks like. Now remember, oh god, the shadows are not helping us. He's basically a little Kenton clone. Uh, but Lethair is going to get disowned. Now I have mentioned, you know, we're probably going to pick a different heir, but like part of me is torn to like follow Lethair's story the unofficial heir like he's still the heir to the challenge he's just maybe not heir to the title but that doesn't work with the way that the challenge is written because right now this family is gentry landed knights they're supposed to be moving forward as baronets and if he's disowned he's not really gonna have the money to do that so yeah we are not gonna follow him like an official capacity but yeah, and there was a poll. It was very interesting. I wasn't sure what sort of supernatural creature everybody was going to go for, but yeah, I'm probably going to follow the results of that. So I'm going to go. I'm disappointed that the party got ruined by toddlers, but you know, it happens. Uh, next time we'll try to complete at least one more roof razor and move on from there. But we got our promotion and we still have our BFF status, so that's good. <laughs> we just need, I believe, one more promotion, but I'll double check. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It really does help, and I will see you in the next one.